Find the force between two positive one coulomb charges when they are 1,000 meters apart. This example is going to look at how to use uh, Coulomb's law and the formula associated with it. Uh, this example is really not realistic. I don't know what would be charged uh, positively uh, and then by one Coulomb, which is quite a bit of charge, and then separated by a thousand meters. But this is uh, some easy numbers so that we can take a look at how the formula works um, and get some ideas uh, from that. So this is a really simple example uh, mathematically. So the first thing we need to know is Coulomb's law. So Coulomb's law is F equals K Q1, which is charge one, Q2, which is charge two. It does not matter which one you call one and two. In this case, they're both one Coulomb charge positive. So one and one is easy. And then uh, over R squared here. Uh, R is really uh, just the distance between things. So you'll sometimes see, sometimes this is written as d squared because it is a distance. Sometimes you'll also see capital Q's uh, in this, this equation. They all mean the same thing. So R I like to use because it looks uh, similar to the uh, gra universal gravitation uh, equation, which this should look very familiar uh, in that way. K is really just the G in this case. Q1 and Q2 are the masses and then R squared stays the same. But you will see sometimes if you're Googling around a d squared, it's the same thing. It's just the distance between them. So uh, just to clarify here, K is Coulomb's constant, sometimes called the electrostatic constant. It has a few names, and we will use 9 times 10 to the 9 Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared, which again should look very familiar uh, if you've studied gravity, where uh, G uh, in, the gra in the gravity equation is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared because we have masses in here. And so this is a really interesting uh, similarity in that the force of gravity and uh, the electrostatic force are uh, mathematically equivalent, we just use different uh, numbers. And should also note that this is a much, much, much bigger number than uh, the G in the universal gravitation equation, which is uh, 6.67 times 10 to the minus, uh, minus 11. This is 9 times 10 to the positive 9, so 9 billion, which really tells you that uh, electromagnetism is much stronger than uh, gravity, uh, stronger by 20 orders of magnitude. So put a one and then 20 zeros after it, that's how much stronger it is. And that's why uh, it mediates mo most of, uh, uh, of our everyday life. So uh, let's take a look at the, at the numbers in this example. So we have two charges, one Coulomb, which again, a lot of charge. So I'm gonna put that guy there. And I did these uh, not as draw or drawings because um, in case I make a mistake I, and I have to do another take, I can simply use these again. Uh, and we know that these are going to be 1,000 meters apart. And so that's going to be the R in this equation. So note that this is a one over R squared type of law. Again, exactly the same as gravity. And so the bigger this number, uh, the, the, the more the drop off of the force uh, by a squared. So um, research one over R squared laws uh, if you're unfamiliar with those. But it basically means that the distance between them is going to play a big factor into how strong the force uh, really is. Another note on K, uh, the Coulomb constant here, uh, this value is a little less um, uh, constant than G is in the gravitational equation. Uh, this, this value can change depending on, on uh, what the medium is. So if we did this exact same question underwater, uh, that would be uh, a, a different value for, for K there. So it has to do with how the uh, 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 electromagnetic field uh, sort of behaves, I guess, uh, when it's uh, in a vacuum, which is what this is really representing, but we'll say air is close enough. Uh, but when you're in uh, something with, say, a lot of other electrons or whatever else, other charged particles, that number uh, can change. But for our purposes, it'll be 9 uh, times 10 to the 9 uh, throughout this course. So let's take a look at how this uh, all goes together. We have K already. We know Q1 
is a positive one Coulomb charge from the question. We know Q2 is also a positive one Coulomb. Note that uh, if these weren't the same two values uh, as they are in this simple example, it does not matter what you call Q1 and Q2. Um, just what I usually just take whatever one comes first in the question and I call that Q1 and uh, I call the second one Q2. But since they're both the same, easy. Uh, and we know the distance between them, which I'm calling R, is... 1,000 meters. So all these numbers are really easy. One times one is going to be easy, um, and squaring uh, 1,000 is going to be pretty easy too. So we'll see uh, what we get when we put this all together. So we have all those values. Now we're going to stick them into the equation. So F equals 9 times 10 to the 9 Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared times 1 Coulomb, positive 1 Coulomb, times positive one Coulomb. I'd put my negative signs if I was in there. Uh, if they were negative, sorry. And on the bottom, we have a thousand meters squared, which is easy. That's going to be a million. So on top, we have nine times 10 to the nine times one times one. That's just nine times 10 to the nine. And since our Coulombs here, there's a squared on the bottom, Coulomb squared, and a Coulomb and a Coulomb on top. Those cancel, so we're left with Newton meters squared here, and 1,000 squared is a million, so I'll say 1 times 10 to the 6, and that's now in the unit of meters squared. That looks like a meter squared, but I'm really squaring the 1,000 and the meters here. Meter squared, meter squared cancelled. Uh, 9 times 10 to the 9, or 9 billion, divided by a million gives us 9,000 newtons of force. Note here we got a positive answer, which tells us that this is repulsive. A positive answer means repulsive. Uh, if, since I have two positive numbers here, we have uh, uh, we have two positive charges. We know that like charges repel, and so uh, putting in two of the same number, two negative numbers would also make a positive. Two positive numbers make a positive. So getting a positive answer here means that these are repelling each other. Um, they are not attractive. Note, if I had said one of these charges was uh, a positive uh, one Coulomb and the other was a negative one Coulomb, then we would have had a negative number on one of these, which would have made the whole thing on top negative, which would have given us a negative force. And so a negative force when using this equation means attractive. So just keep that in mind. That'll be a convention that we use um, throughout. 9,000 newtons seems like a lot of force, doesn't it? And it is because uh, one coulomb of charge is a really lot of charge. And again, you don't see this uh, in everyday life. You might think to yourself, well, these things must be flying apart with that kind of force. But just remember that force still equals ma. And so we don't know the mass of these charges. Uh, if they were very light, then yeah, they're accelerating away very quickly from each other. But if they're multi-ton, let's say, um, red circles, then uh, they would not be flying away very quickly at all. So uh, never forget that force is always F equals MA, uh, regardless if we're talking about um, Coulomb's law or gravity or anything else.